Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Plainville Jamelville High School gym as volleyball tonight is in the house. Your Plainville Jamelville Bulldogs taking on the Ramblers from Winona Cotter. Paul Arswald here, uh, bringing you this broadcast brought to you by the Bulldog Nation Foundation, and I am joined tonight by Coach Christy Anta. Welcome, Coach. <laughs> Thank you so much. What an honor to be here. It'll be so much fun. <laughs> uh, our normal uh, Mr. Nick Natty is uh, over watching his son play football, so um, kind of pinch hitting, but yeah. you at least know what we're talking about, so that is good. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about tonight. Uh, Bulldogs come in at 5-2. and two. Yep. Um, really good season. What, uh, you've seen these young ladies for a while. What what excites you about this team? They have the ability to, they just so dynamic. And they, they've been playing together for years and you can just see them work as one unit out there. When one moves, another person's moving to cover a spot and. Yeah, and quite a few seniors uh, in the starting rotation, but um, lots of juniors uh, that get in on JV and some in on the varsity action as well. And yep. uh, looking out here, we even have some sophomores uh, and maybe even a couple freshmen out there. I think we've got some sophomore. We got one sophomore and a couple juniors, and definitely have some height there. Um, I think one of the funnest things in volleyball is watching a block kill. You stuff someone, and it's just so much fun. And we've got a lot of that on this team. The ability for that to happen, so makes it very fun. Smile, but I no know. one can see the no smile. No one can see our smiles. We're working on that. It's all good. <laughs> uh. Now, these two teams have already met, so they've already played each other. They did. And I'm thinking it was, I think it was the same night. I think we were up 2 2 0, and then it, they tied it, they had her come back, tied it up 2 2. It would be an exciting first set to decide, I believe, if I'm remembering correct. And Winona Cotter is 3 and 1. Yes. Yeah. The national anthem done. To get ready to go is linesman Jeff Henry, Mr. Ben Peter, get into place. Uh, coach, you want to run through the starting lineups for us? Yes. So for Cotter, the visiting team, we've got Aubrey Biederman, Ellie Motko, Madison Beck, Grace Miller, Kelly Hadaway, and Lexi Hadaway, and then they've got a libero, Ellie French. On the home side for the Bulldogs, we've got. Alex Doty, Abby Henrich, Monica Evers, Kristen Miller, Malia Becker, and libero Riley Nelson. So back to serve to start the game is Aubrey Biederman. The beautiful pass to start the game. You always love that beautiful pass. It lets that setter do anything she wants with it. 
So as we go along, I'm going to ask you some questions just because I'm not real familiar with the rules of volleyball. Mm -hmm. Little and bit I'm going to, yeah, and I'm going to try to keep up here on <laughs> score, too. Much quicker than uh, scoring in the soccer that I ran. Yeah. Abby here mm -hmm. back to serve. So let's first even talk about the scoring. Years ago when I was in high school. Me, too. And you, too. <laughs> um, you could only score if you were serving. You were serving. If you were involved with the team. The only score if you're serving, you had to serve to win the game. It was a definitely different pace game at that time. Well, and I think it makes it much more exciting with yes. it this way. Yes. Oh, and there's one of those black kills I'm talking about. Alex Cody right there in the middle. Nice job. There's nothing, no, no better way to pump up your team than for that to happen. So one of the questions is we're watching nice volley going back yes. and forth here. Yes, sure, yes. A lot of times you'll see that setter, and, and so do they de do they predetermine whether they're going to set it to the person behind them, to the person in front of them? So is it just kind of a feel as it's going? Oftentimes you'll see their their numbers, like they're holding up a number behind their back, the team sheet, and they'll set it if they're ready to set. And it just depends on where the pass goes as to where whether you have all three options. Like right there, there we it was a perfect pass. So she could go to any of those hitters in the front row. And so all hitters have to be ready on yes. that. Yes, yep, yep. And the setters, just a little bit outside there, the setters are very good at reading who's ready. They're seeing the ball, they're seeing the movements of the play, and able to make that best decision for that moment. So when the game changed, but there is another block yeah. kill. Awesome. Alex Cody oh, and Malia right Becker. There, yes. Yeah, Ellie Iden changed back to the serve. The play change there, we've got. It's a good dig. The pancake hit the ground before the pancake happened. There's Tegan Hansen on that one. Back row attack there. There we go. Beautiful set to the middle for Alex Cody for the kill. by Ellie Eidenson for the ace. And looks like Potter Cody is going to top off things. Bulldogs jump out to a quick 8-2 lead. Good energy by uh, the Bulldogs here. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, you can see head coach Melissa Cody out there talking to the team. Which... So let's, let's talk about the difference between the two. What, what's Coach Doty telling her squad right now versus Keep up the energy. Coach what, of whatever you're doing is taking their energy away right now, so you're keeping that up. And Cotter's just getting one play together to get that side out. Another serve by Ellie Eidenshank. Side out to Cotter. At number 18, Kelly Hadaway back to serve. Nice pass on that. Nice attempt at that block by Cotter. Side out to Bulldogs. We've got Monica Evers back in the game. Oh, 
jump in the middle. Perfect. You couldn't even read what she was going to do. She didn't even move her feet. The setter was in perfect position for that. So we see Riley Nelson come in. Mm -hmm. and she's a libero. And, and what is the purpose of the libero? It keeps the game going instead of having to substitute your defensive specialist in all the time. So that libero can go in, in for anyone in the back row at any time, as long as she goes in the back 10 feet of the court. That exchange has to happen. Doesn't count as a substitution. It just there's just a trade in players. We've got a libero tracker that's an official on the side that keeps track of that. They're only able to serve in one rotation though, and that's the biggest thing there. But if you have a really good passer, another block kill. Malia Becker back to serve. See that one bounce off the uh, rafters here in the gym. Mm -hmm. And it's still a live ball, right? Still a no live matter. ball. They can play it if they've got another play left. Yep, it's still a live ball. Half right the down the line. This Here's team has some momentum going tonight, that's for sure. Bulldogs leading 13 to 4. First set. Another good serve. That's a nice pass. Give her lots of options. Good swing on the cotter side. Another good pass. And that worked for the quick in the middle by number 10 back. We got Mariah Henry coming into the game. Gonna sit. Gonna pass in the back row. Twenty-two back to serve. Is nice job there by Abby Hennis. So that was Allie French serving for um, the Potter Ramblers there. a beautiful set to the middle. <laughs> They're usually lower in the middle, Paul. It just, it's a quicker set. It's a quicker um, attack there. 14, Grace Miller back to serve. I, uh, Finesse play. Go ahead. I, I think it's... it's so fun to watch too when it looks like a you know a person's gonna just load up to hit it, <laughs> yes. hit it and then you know just barely love tap at a yep. cross. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. 15, Alex Doty seven. back in to serve or back in to play and we got Riley Nelson serving for the Bulldogs. Very smart play at the net <laughs> by the sisters there. Making the fist out of her hand to keep it from being a lift. All right, so this is going to sound like a crazy question, but are there set plays in volleyball? Oh, yeah. Is there? Yep, yep. Maybe not as many as in football at the high school level, but. Just outside. 16 to 8. Is it, nice serve by Abby Henrich. Is it common to be subbing like, a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's because you want your front row players to save their legs for the front row so that their jumping ability is better. And other times it's because you have a better passer that plays back row and moves quicker in the back row. There are only a set, sub, set of substitutions that you have. You only have so many per set. So I oh. want to say that you only get, yeah. I'll find out at, between games. <laughs> I think it's 12 substitutions. Okay, interesting. And that's where the libero comes in big handy. Abby Henry serving again. Nice playoff, the ceiling. 
dangerous pass though. There you go, good dig. Alex Doty again. So at the high school level, it's the best of five sets. Best of five, yeah. First four to 25, and then that fifth one is to 15. Nice pass. She's gonna do with it. Nice. Trisha Miller for the kill, right along the net. Those sisters in the front row, the Hadaways, they can put up a pretty good wall there. Now they're served by Abby Henrich. Side kill from number eight, Ellie Motzel. Before the game, I was checking how to pronounce names, and she said Motzel, like mozzarella. So, Ellie, that's for you. Nice kill. There we go. <laughs> now you're gonna make me think of pizza. Oh, and there's a kill. Alex Doty. There we go. Ellie Eidenshing back in to serve for the Bulldogs. Good serve, Aiden Shank. Just outside. Bulldogs with a 21 to 9 lead in this first set. Another good serve from Aiden Shank. Communication error there. And another timeout by Winona Tyler. Twenty-two to nine. Bulldogs have a ton of energy. They're moving well. They're passing well. Before every awesome hit comes a beautiful pass for that setter to get it just right for that hitter. It's so fun to see it all click together. We uh, need to send out a big thanks uh, to activities director Scott Flatham and Bethany Nielsen. Uh, twice now, back-to-back -back weeks, last week mm -hmm. had a game that uh, was canceled on us, yeah. unfortunately, on Wednesday night, yeah. and uh, Mr. Fladen was able to get a team in on Thursday, and then uh, same thing here. This one was uh, not who it was nice supposed hustle, to be. Bulldogs. Uh, Good hustle by the Bulldogs. Great spot on the Ramblers' part. Yes, before the game, we were, I was getting with the Ramblers, and they're just grateful to be in the gym. Every day is another day. They said that we're just fortunate to be here. So, tough ceiling to play on here. Perfect. Net on the Ramblers. That was my downfall. Whenever I went to block, I was so I was so excited. I would always hit the net, either on the way up with my hand or on the way down with my elbow. Because <laughs> you cannot touch the net with Can't any part of your it. body. No. No. Nice quick play. Oh, another kill from number eight, Miss Matzo. Twenty-three eleven now. Short serve, that's a beautiful serve. Back in our time, that would have been a, a missed serve. We couldn't even hit the net on our serve. I was going to ask you about point. that because I didn't think yep. you could. But well, now as long yep. as it gets over. Yep, if it goes over, it's good. If you can do it, it's, it's a, that short serve is awesome. Good save in the back row. Number eight, beautiful up. Quick, oh, lost it in the ceiling. All right. 23-13. Mott sold the serve again. Yeah. 
smart play by Tegan. She pulled off on the full arm swing and gave it a nice little tap instead. So here we are, 24-13. That was a quick get up and play. Nice work. And just wide. That's out. Point and to the Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs take the first set. 25, 25 to 13. 13. They've got some energy tonight. That's exciting. The Ramblers had a their next game was postponed now already too. They're supposed to meet Rushford next. They were staying in the hallway and that's been postponed, but we might see each other a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to play, right? Right, that's what they said too. As long as we're playing, we're happy. So So we are in between sets here. It looks like is it three minutes in yep. between the yep. sets? Yep. Which is good a chance to make some changes and yeah, it's not when you're the coach, it's not a lot of time here. Your kids are taking a break, you're coaching what they need to change, what you want them to do next, and getting your lineup in has to be in before the last thirty seconds of that three minute time span. So if you're changing things up, you gotta This is where Dodie's saying we got to keep it going. You know, every set ends and the next one starts, and you, you want to keep that energy going. So they've got a for sure plan for this first serve point and then their first point after that. And what's it like being in Winona Cotter's shoes? You, you've just you've, you've lost the set and mm -hmm. pretty big, right? 20, mm -hmm. 25, yeah. 13. Yep. Yep. So how do you? How do you change your mental frame? You make small strides. You, you, know, you look at what you were doing that was off. Were you missing the serves? We got to get our serves in. We're focused on that. Or focus on the first pass. And you just build on it. Once you get those things going, then yeah. You keep building. You do something to gain energy. And you just keep going. They came back the last time we played them. They were down two sets. And that third set, they were... They were on fire that third set, so they dug deep. This team has it in them to do that. Looks like similar starting lineup for the Ramblers. Yeah. Well, and I just, so here they got our starting lineup have been submitted, mm -hmm. and then Riley comes in right away. Yeah, so the libero can't be on the court when there's got to be a position for a permanent player. And then once they take that lineup, then the liberos can make the exchange. Gotcha. So the same thing was happening over here on the Rambler side with Allie French as well. 12 going into the lineup. That's Olivia Blummer for the Ramblers. Had a way to make a serve. The back row attack. They gotta be behind that 10 foot line when they're in the back row to jump and swing. Otherwise they can't do that. So if she was behind it, just maybe swing. Your swing. Nice pass. Oh. Alex Doty again. Another assist by Abby Henricks. Ellie Eidenshank back to serve for the Bulldogs. Saw Alex Doty has been going mm -hmm. up. Beautiful back set. Perfect spot for Malia. Nice. Another kill for Doty. 
So Malia Becker, she can be a weapon in that front row. She can jump and block. She's also a, left, a lefty. So on that right side, if they don't know that and they play her, they block her in a different spot, it's a weapon to have a lefty in that front row. Nice dig by Allie French. Another kill from Matzel. This team has a little more energy this set than they had that first set. They're showing a little bit more spunk in them. Up 3-2 to start this. Matzel back to serve. And the Bulldogs get it back. Side out for the Bulldogs. It's always fun to see him get so excited about things. It's one thing you got to keep the energy up. Jody back to serve. So we've talked, mm -hmm. we have quite a few seniors on this team. Um, and I'm going to ask you if you know of any that are looking to play at the next level. Have you heard of any? I believe a couple are looking. I don't know what that looks like this year. I know they've made tapes and sent them off to colleges to see. Um, the process is so different from when I was in school <laughs> and so different maybe from last year. <laughs> yeah. Got to make sure we give a shout out to our expert camera person, Miss Kaylee Peters. There right we here. go. She's a pro. These girls are three sport athletes, or it's not just volleyball for them. Riley played soccer to start the year, and now she's in volleyball. She's quite the trackster, she's a gutsy 800 runner. We've got softball players, basketball you know, players. Uh, uh, definitely something this year. Um, it allowed yes. athletes to have four seasons. Um, well, and I uh, think we had some. We had, I think, Abby Henricks, Monica Evers, Alex Woody were all running. They all ran cross country. And then I missed someone else on soccer team. I apologize for that. But. Yeah. Block kill for the Ramblers side. Substitutions. We got Mariah Henry in on the Bulldogs and Grace Miller. Going back in to serve for the Ramblers. Playing off this energy from that block kill for the Ramblers. Going to take that energy away as a hitter. There you go. There you go. Nice job, Abby. Uh, Abby. You'd be surprised, Paul, how you practice finding the hole as a hitter. You like hold brooms up in the gym above as the hitters are hitting, and you'll move the locations, and it's their job to hit. Not into those, but you hit around it. Yeah. Ramblers in the lead this set, eight to six. So Are we just joined us. To serve? Bulldogs won the first set, twenty-five to thirteen, and now in the second set, find themselves trailing mm -hmm. six to eight. Get up on that. Opportunity for Abby to swing there. Miss Henry's our setter. Swing from our libero in the back. What a rally we got going here. Ooh, and we had some sideways rotation on the double hit there. Tried to save it from the net. What a rally that was. So much fun. <laughs> Both teams scrambling. Riley Nelson into serve. Mm -hmm. 
So you can do that on the first, but you can't do that on the second. That second has to be clean, that second contact. So on our side, we had a little bit of rotation. We can't have the rotation on that second set. 15 and 10. Into the game, Trinity Smitnick for the eight. Ramblers. Let's just talk a little bit about serving. We've seen uh, mm -hmm. Ellie Einstein does a run jump serve. Yeah. Uh, Riley uh, stands still. Benefits to one or the other? Is it just whatever feels most comfortable to the player? I think it just depends on how consistent they are with which serve it is, you know. Riley's got a heck of an arm on her, but she can get it without jumping and using that energy. And Ellie gets some extra height on her, so her, hers will drop a little bit quicker on the other side of the net because of the height she gets on her jump. Two teams are just oh, battling. Yes, they are. Drops on the Bulldog side point for the Ramblers. Years ago, it would be that if you don't get an ace when you're jump serving, it's not worth the energy. Ah. And that has changed because there's a jump float. There's a jump float that is a very difficult serve to pass. So that philosophy has changed over the years. Another good pass. Another kill by Alex Cody. Malia Becker coming back into the game. And Lexi Hadaway coming back in for Trinity Smitnick. Barrow taking that place too. That was a freeway rotation there. Maddie Hennings back to so. Rambler showing much more energy this set. the rotation on her ball. Watch her. Ellie's ball will drop as it goes over. Mm. Her ball is almost like not even moving. It's just like one of the drops. <laughs> and that's what that jump float can do. Gotcha. Looks like it's going to be a deeper one and then all of a sudden the air just falls out of the bottom. Beautiful serve. Kind of like in baseball, the whole curveball versus yep. fastball. Yes. Another kill from Jody. They are connecting there tonight, that's for sure. So the Bulldogs, after trailing by two earlier, now jumped out to a 13-10 lead in the second set. Oh, bummer. That back line left open. They fell in that spot back there, the Ramblers did. They heard you talking about the bigger lead, and they said, no, <laughs> yes. can't have that. Okay. And Matzel back to serve. Oh, they didn't call me. Side out, Bulldogs, 14-11. Monica Evers back in the game for the Bulldogs. She is a bundle of energy, that girl is. Brings positive everywhere she goes. Yes. Brody with the serve. Caught up front. So setter usually takes second ball. That's kind of just the understood what happens when the setter takes the first ball? Usually, you'll see now the libero steps in to pass set it to somebody. And since the libero was out to court, Dodie knew it was her turn to do that. Nice hit by Tegan Hansen. 15-12 Bulldogs. Still a close game. It's 
been very competitive mm -hmm. back yes. and forth. The rallies have been very good. Ooh, in, and that found the line for Dieterman. Beautiful pass kill for them. Mariah Henry into the game. So, nice oftentimes, the coach will tell the server where to serve it to, Paul. And one of the strategies is if you come in cold off the bench, you were going to serve you first. And they, Mariah came right off the bench and they served her right up and she passed it. It wasn't cold that time, it just passed it right up. So many of those little intricacies that, you know, the, the yep. common person just... And another block kill. Oh, so much fun. Time out. Ramblers. Bulldogs up 17-13 in this second set. 74 people watching at home. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on this presentation put on by the Bulldog Nation Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, BNF was instrumental in giving a grant to get the technology to start live streaming. And uh, little did we know that when the grant came through, how much it would get utilized. <laughs> it <laughs> um, has been fun. We, uh, we had hopes to, to be able to do lots of different school activities, not just athletics. And um, then, of course, the way this fall went, it's been forced into heavy use now. And yep. so, yep. but what a what a fun thing to bring to our community. And yeah, it's been fun to watch people from afar. I watched my niece play in Wisconsin when they were in season. And so fun to see how people adjust, how the schools have made yeah. it possible to still be part of the athletics and activities within the school. Well, and I know even during one of the um, boys soccer games, um, Kale Lamb, who's also a football player, yes. but was playing soccer, his uncle in Brazil was watching. Yep. Trisha Miller for the kill. Is Brazil the same time zone? Yes. Random thought of the day. I thought so. That gets frustrating as a hitter. You get blocked enough times. You gotta readjust things and nice finesse tip. Oh, bummer. Miscommunication on the Bulldog side. 19 to 14. So the Ramblers get set to serve. Aubrey Dieterman again. Right here with a beautiful pass. Nice block on the Rambler side. Beautiful block there. She was right there to pick up that pass, too. Good movement from Biermann. So that was a nice way to play off the ceiling. Nice dig. Oh. That spot was covered. No! Oh. Matzo for the kill. So Bulldog fingertips, 19 mm -hmm. to 16. All right, Bulldogs need to break this streak here. Mr. Gives him an opportunity. Here we go. Monica Evers is out, and Alex Doty is back in. Riley Nelson to serve. Block but landed outside. So to change that, Paul, you just turn that outside hand to when you block. It's not this way. You turn that outside hand in to keep that ball from going that direction. 
2017 Bulldogs. Number 15, Trinity Smitnick back to serve. And Trisha Miller just wide. Now timeout Bulldogs, 20 to 18. They can't let them back in at this spot. So they're gonna talk about things, get a plan in place, pick up that intensity a little bit. And this Ramblers team, God, they've been swinging. They <laughs> didn't that first set and their blocking's been on this set. So they're gonna keep things going. I think you mentioned that you know the Bulldogs have played together not only a lot throughout their school years, but on off season as yes, well. Yes, they have. This group of seniors. Nice cover by Trisha Miller there to pick up that block. And there's a touch. Inside out Bulldogs. Plan worked. All right, we got Lauren Ritz going to come into the game. Gives us some height in that front row. She sets and hits for the JV team for a couple. This is the second game she's been in for the Bulldogs. Maybe third. I guess I didn't go to Rushford. Nice ace serve from Abby Hendricks. To 19. Another substitution. The 12 is in. Olivia Blummers with Hadaway back to serve. That one was a floater in the back right there. A kill for Doty. Did you even see which side that came no, down? No, I on actually ball? thought it went down <laughs> on our side. It just rolled that net just a smidge. It happens so fast sometimes. Uh, that's why I like you so much. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Nice up. Another trouble. Yep. Nice finesse. So you'll notice Potter's got two people back server receiving right now. We usually have three. It means they're pretty awesome passers and can move to find that ball. Less communication errors. Communication there. 24 20. Matzo's back to serve for the Ramblers. There's match point still. They don't have to serve to win the game. <laughs> win the set. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> and how Typical. fitting that, uh, Alex Doty. There we go. 25 20. Bulldogs take the second set. Hard fought match. Fun set that was. Bulldogs are up two sets to two sets to none against the Ramblers. This is where they need to keep the energy going. And last time they played, this the Ramblers picked it up again and took that third and fourth set. So just the score here. So 18 substitutions are allowed per set. 18 per set. Yeah. So you figure with the lineups as you go through, if everybody shares a spot, so you have a front row person, and then when they rotate to the back row, they substitute out. 
if you rotate through the rotation three times, that's your 18 substitutions. So in those tight sets where you need everybody on, that's where that libero really helps <laughs> keep the substitutions a little bit lower. And that's where you need some good assistant coaches helping you track who's yes. subbing. And, yeah. Yeah. and then sometimes when you get that far, you just have to keep your team on the court that you got. You got to figure out who do you need where and <laughs> where you're going to play. I coached at Lourdes one year and there was a team we played at a tournament. Ended up 47 49. Was this, oh my goodness. Was, it just kept going back and forth and back and forth. No one could put it down. They were scrappy, digging everything. And there, your substitutions are gone, so your team's just there. Other than moving your libero in and out. At that time, you probably didn't have a libero. I don't even think we'd have libero when I coached there. That was a long time ago. So they check the lineup. The officials check the lineup on both sides. Make sure they're in the right spots, because if they serve out a rotation some energy from Miss Moss got to get <laughs> yes, everybody yes I was thinking you just <laughs> said, said that and Ramblers are going to start the serve we've got Kelly Hadaway to serve same lineup in the game as the previous two sets and Alex Lodi starts us off you always want the first point of a set. Always. Henrik's back to serve. Again, just two passers on the Rambler side. And a block kill for the Ramblers. There's so much energy from that. So much energy. Matzel back to serve. Olivia Blummer's in the game for the Ramblers. That one just floated a little much. Aiden Schenk in the game and back to serve. Beautiful pass from Allie French and the Ramblers. Yeah! And it found the corner line. Just in. Um, how about servers left-handed versus right-handed? Is, is there a big difference the way the ball comes off? You know, you... I haven't noticed a difference with that. It's more the swinging um, in the front row. When they're hitting, you're just you're blocking a right-handed hitter is different than blocking a left-handed hitter. French to set. And just out. Monica Evers back in the game for the Bulldogs. Alex Doty to serve. Tough pass to get to for the Ramblers. A tight pass or tight. Yeah. <laughs> Good hear Monica out there. Yes. Getting her team fired up. She knows they lost the third set the last time. She's like, that isn't going to happen tonight. They're going to get fired up and stay there. Dodie's still serving. So Grace Miller over here from the Rambler, she's a left handed hitter too. We've got two lefties on the right side back to serve. I didn't notice she was a left-hander to start the game. I've been through two sets, not noticing. High school to college, is there a lot of differences in, I mean, obviously the, the athletes, but as far as rules? Oh, you know, I don't know. I know the rules have changed so much since I've played. Um, Whoa! 
there's international rules, there's collegiate rules. And some, like, a lot of them will have the kids standing in the college level. You'll see that on TV. And you can't have that in high school. The only person allowed to stand is one of your coaches. Can be up and up and around. That last point uh, made by Tegan Hansen. Oh, hit the ceiling. That's a tough play. Couple of substitutions. Maria Henry into the game for the Bulldogs and. Avery Dieterman back to serve for the Ramblers. A good short serve. Ramblers, Seven to five. Ramblers trying to make a run here mm -hmm. at the Bulldogs. Nice first pass. Monica Evers with the set. Roll out. Trisha Miller into the game for the Bulldogs. This girl's got an arm swing, let me tell you. Trisha can swing at that ball. Nice serve, Tegan Hansen. Get up, Abby. <laughs> Always fun when the setter gets a kill. <laughs> nice pass from French. Allows him to run a quick in the middle. Defended well, and luckily, maybe. <laughs> mm -mm. A little tight on that set. Ooh, and I think there was a nut right oh. there. I think I even caught that one that time. I might have called it a different way, but. 15 into the game. So Trinity Smitnick is back to serve. Oh. <laughs> Close net play. Very tight. Oh. <laughs> I think Trisha was in three places. And <laughs> Floor a couple times and up on that one. Coming over free from the Ramblers. This is where you can usually run something funner. Than, it's not really a word, but lock set there. Nice touch. Nice. Big cut by Trisha. Matzo there for the pancake move. Trisha Miller, who's been swinging all night with the little yeah. touch on that one. Nice push over. Oh. Almost got there. So what? So. Talking at the table. So the Bulldogs aren't looking for a lineup check. They had a potentially a wrong server in. The captain and only the captain on the court can ask an official for a lineup check. And so any serves that are made and points made while they're out of rotation, those would get taken away. And it's a violation, so. And 
hear our official and coach trying to discuss. Sometimes those officials, they keep their little books and they cross off as everybody goes in so they know who should be there. And then the book also double checks who should be serving. So it's a tag team event. Especially when you put the libero in there, then the libero tracker is in charge of that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more than I ever thought. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> So the transition to the 25 point games rally score speeds up the game, makes the game more intense. And um, every point needs to be played for a point versus for a side out or versus for the serve. And the transition from that into the 25, the rally score was a really good move on the part of volleyball. It made it a very much more intense event. It, uh, it's fun to see, yeah, you, know, you look at the Bulldogs out there, pretty lighthearted, too. You know, just having yes. fun and... Yep. The Ramblers are doing the wave on the bench over here. Getting some energy going for their team, led by their coach. And uh, <laughs> so they sorted it out and the official said that the Bulldogs did indeed have the right server and Riley Nelson. It was so. the right score. Rambler's coach is curious as to why, but they were able to talk it through and save the point. And oh, it's for Jody. Abby Hendricks with the beautiful set. And yes. Alex Doty. Hammers at home. Matzel going for the deep tip. He gets the kill. Bulldogs are up 12 to 8 in the third set. They lead two sets to none in this match. They got Hadaway back to serve. She's got beautiful hands, Paul. Oh. She has set her hands. It is just beautiful. Malia Becker back into the game for the Bulldogs as Abby Hennix gets ready to serve. <laughs> and then 12, Olivia Blummers is back in the game for the Ramblers as Matzel's back to serve. Riley's not going to let that one happen again. Now, if you're Matzel, you serve the same spot again. You get an ace, you serve that person again. And Riley's like, bring it on. <laughs> Came over this way a little bit. A little too much power this time from Alex Doty. Right along. <laughs> Like dang. As a coach, though, are you okay with a few of those? The you know, because what nine out of ten times she does connect with them, and For, you know, of getting a few long ones. You know, oh, you, yes. you, you oh, yeah. think in, in oh, yeah. the football oh, yeah. world, yeah. you know. Um, short, short, short. Yes. Well, and you just got to keep swinging, you know. Sometimes you're off balance and you take a little off, and you'll notice on the one that she hit out, her snap was off. The snap is where a lot of that down power comes from. Little Lauren Rich is in the game now, changing things up in that front row as the Ramblers tie it up 13-13. And it was out. The Bulldogs let it. 
by uh, four points at one time, but as you said, the Ramblers have come storming back and now lead 14 to 13. Did it break my full serve? And they just did. Sometimes a substitution you do as a coach to Paul instead of another timeout. You only get so many timeouts, so sometimes you do a substitution. It slows down that particular moment. Touch on the Ramblers for that as it went out, but they get the kill. Tegan does. Hayden Shank back to serve. 15 14. This is a tight one again. The second matchup between the Winona Cotter Ramblers and the Plainville to Melville Bulldogs. Bulldogs come into tonight five and two, Ramblers three and one. And as Coach Ranta said, they uh, played this one earlier. Bulldogs jumped out to a 2-0 lead in the sets, and Nona came back to tie it up 2-2. A mm -hmm. net call on the Bulldogs. Like Ellie said, right here, side out. That's what they want. They want to pass. They're going to their go-to right now. I love this side out. Now you run something quick here because they were out of position on the other side. Just out. Job by the Bulldogs. Monica Evers back in the game. Alex back to serve. Just a bit outside. He's the last couple serves. How about um, the position of the other players when your team is serving? You see uh, mm -hmm. several different formations. Yeah. They are moving into what they call base position there, Paul. So like if you're a outside hitter, but you're not always in that spot. When your team is serving, you line up to get ready. So when they serve, you run to that spot. So it gets you lined up and ready to go in the positions that you play. Same thing in the back row. Um, Tegan Hansen with a monstrous hit. <laughs> oh, she loves it. Loves this game. Talking things up so things don't fall. Oh, the Avery Biederman's back into the game. Maria Henry's back in the game. Mom, what's going to have a seat to the back row? Perfect pass. Oh, she oh, finds the corner. The corner. Yes. You'll often see people run back and watch where it's going to fall. They run to that line to make sure it's going to go out. They just wheeled it out. They were wheeling <laughs> it out that time. And we got a timeout. Winona Connor as the Bulldogs lead 20 to 17. Up two sets to none. And so uh, once again, the two coaches. If you're Winona Cotter, you're, you're facing an elimination here. Right, yep. So you're trying to figure out, there was just some miscommunications. They were out of out of the play sometimes. They need a good go-to play coming out of a timeout to get the side out. Coach Jody just checking the number of subs she has left. And she's probably in all, all right shape. Oh, an 
Abby finds the court. Abby Hendrick sneaks it in right inside mm -hmm. that white line. The Hadaways, their height is fantastic in that front. They hardly even have to jump. Their arms are so tall. Wow. She came off of that. Ellie LeBear enters the game. And I believe Eleanor uh, Russell Eleanor did Russell too. in the game too. All right. That's too bad to come off the bench and get hands on that ball. There you go. Jump. Oh, they're going to call it Abby for a lift. What was the so her hand was just a little too flat when she flung it. That lift, if, you, if they see the ball stop motion, and sometimes you'll see that on a flat hand that they fling it. So if you catch it and throw it, you have gotcha. to constantly keep your motion going. 21 18 now. We're right there to pick that to tip up. Oofta! Oh. All right. 21-19. And time out, Bulldogs this time. Talk about the, the communication that has to happen, because you've got bodies flying all over the place. Yes. You never know exactly where mm -hmm. that ball is gonna go. Yeah. So you just, if you're gonna get it, mine or I go, if you need help with it, if you're the setter and you fall to, you say the person's name that needs to take it versus help because then everyone's scrambling. Uh, or you already have a plan in place as to who's going to go. So sometimes when you put a new person in that hasn't been in that rotation before, those communication errors can happen. Twenty-one twenty. Bulldogs up by one. Ramblers have been serving. Trinity Smitnick in the back for the Ramblers. She's had a consistent serve all night. And it was oh. out. And we have a tied ball game. 21 21. And just, uh, just out. I thought it was going to be further out than that was, but that sucker dropped real quick. And Hadaway back in. And then French, the libero, takes over for her right away. Riley Nelson back to serve for the Bulldogs. Big point. I need Doty. Oh, there we go, 23-21. Is there a specific place that they have to serve? Obviously, they can't go up no. to the white line, but anywhere yeah. left yeah. to right? Yeah, and that's changed over the years, too. There used to be the two white lines in the back right corner, and it was the 10 feet on the right side of that court that you had to serve between those lines. And you learn how to navigate the entire other court from that spot. Now you can serve anywhere. That's why those little dash marks are off the back end court. They can serve anywhere between those dash marks. Gotcha. Um, the line judges will just have to step back if they're on the side where the line judge is at so that they're not in their immediate way, giving them the space to serve. And, and will players move some? Mm -hmm. Kind of like tennis, mm -hmm. though? Yep. People will move. Some people um, do the same exact thing from everywhere. Like They do the same thing in the same spot and they just know where they can alter things to get the ball to go where they want it to go. That was a beautiful shot. Beautiful kill by Matzo over the block. And a nice cut, cut angle on it. side. 23-22. Bulldogs up by one. Oh, oh right yeah. in the corner. 23-23. This is where that happens. You say, serve me again. I'm ready this time. We saw it last time. Now she could drop one right short here because they're expecting deep. She's been floating deep all night. Yeah. 
So the, each official called one person in the net. Usually that's the down official's call, and he'll put his hand up on the side where the net was, was breached, and they were both in the net that time. So it's a free play. It goes back to a jump ball, basically. Oh. That's what I got to say about that. <laughs> Here we go. And Malia Becker back in for the Bulldogs. This is match point for the Bulldogs. There. Abby Hendricks with the serve. <laughs> and oh no, Russell oh, no. with the kill. And so the Bulldogs take it in three from Winona Connor. They improved to six and two on the year. Coach, thanks there for joining go. us it was tonight. It a lot of fun. Yay. Glad to have you. Oh, volleyball. I'm just glad they can be in the gym. The girls are just so excited to be here. So it's yeah. fun. Very fun. Once again, special thanks to Kaylee Peter. Great <laughs> job on the camera action. Thanks to the Bulldog Nation Foundation for sponsoring this. Uh, our ladies are back in action next week. I don't even... Do you know who you play next week, Kaylee? Okay. Well, we know they're in action. Yes. So stay tuned. In Triton. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this will be it. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Arzold. Have a good night. You too.